Repairing a vehicle's frame depends on the type and extent of the damage. We would like to give a brief overview of how to identify common types of frame damage in order to plan your anchoring, holding, and fixturing strategy. We have Jeff and Cody here. Let's see what they have to say. So Cody, we have this 2021 Ram 1500 quad cab. It's recently involved in an accident. We've already measured it. But before we look at that, I'd like to get your idea of what you think actually happened. Okay, well just from looking at the vehicle, it looks like it had a front collision on the driver's side and both front rails look like they've been swayed over. But it might have a slight twist, but until I use the measuring system, I won't really be able to tell what secondary damage has happened. Very good, Cody. Let's go take a look at our Vision 2X3 measuring system to see what the damage really was. Okay. By looking at our screen, you can see, Cody, that you were very close on your initial assessment of the damage. Our analysis tab here shows that we have an extensive sway in the front end, which we could see by looking at the truck. But what we didn't see is that there's actually some sway there in the rear end. I love the analysis tab because it gives you a very good visual representation of the damage without the numbers. If we look more closely here by clicking on our measuring, we can actually see the numbers and our length, width, and height columns. It gives us a true reading of the damage we've already found. By looking at the front, you can see we have at least 80 millimeters of sway on the right side and over 200 millimeters of sway on the left. So that did take an extensive shot to that left side. You can see there in the rear that there was actually 10 and 12 millimeters of sway that we got transferred into the secondary damage of the rear. There's also some damage there in the center section. And as you said before, we didn't see the twist until we actually measured. So you'll notice there by the damage that we do have diamond there in the center section. This is represented by the negative 12 and negative 13 in our length of measurements on the passenger rail. When that actually got hit, that rail did get drove backwards. Our Vision 2 x ray measuring system has a unique way to measure diamond and actually even to pull it. So let's go over to the bench rack and I'll show you how we fix that. Okay. So Carliner's unique way of measuring for diamond is we're only going to use two spots on the undamaged side. I've already selected this spot from our control points. That data has been set. Now we'll move forward to use another spot on our data sheet. We'll measure here. We've now established center. We can now proceed to the other side of this chassis to measure those spots to see where they are in relationship to this rail. Let's go over there and we'll verify that. Okay. We will now go back over to our damage rail, measure the same two points so that we can get a real representation of how far back the diamond exists. This will show us the misalignment in our center section of the vehicle, which is the first area that we need to repair. When repairing our damage, we will start with the center section of this vehicle while monitoring our end sections. So let's fix this center section. You'll see the arrows on the passenger side rail are pointing back. We will need to plan to pull this rail forward. We will begin by loosening the cam bolts on the measuring arms attached to the bench rack. We're going to go ahead and make this pull while we have our Cartronic measuring system monitoring one of our centering points. This will give us real time measurements while we pull. Our center section's fixed. Next, we need to go back, retighten those cam bolts on the bench rack arms that are mounted to our bench rack. As you can see on the screen, we're still showing sway and twist damage in the front. To fix it, we should do some preliminary pulling, but we're also going to replace the front rail section. Before we cut our rails, we need to refer back to our OEM repair procedures. We'll need to look up and see how they specify the preparation of these rails and the vehicle before putting those parts on. So now that we've got our rail prepped according to OEM repair procedures and put back into the frame, we're going to use our EVO 3 system with our measuring to ensure that we have it exactly where we want it before we go any further with the welding process. Okay. Now that we have our vehicle restored back to our manufacturer specifications, let's go back to our vision system. Let's click the next button to move from repair to documentation. And then that way we can scroll down to get a printout of all the repairs that we've made. 
Here at Carliner, we're committed to bringing innovative and OEM approved solutions to the market that make your lives easier. We offer top of the line technology that provides an accurate and proven measuring system solution for you. Check out the links below for more hands-on Carliner videos.